Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yale and Michelle, and in today's video, I decided I want to finally figure out what my hair porosity actually is. Like, actually take the hair porosity test and figure out what's my hair porosity. So, in my mind, my hair porosity is high porosity because I've had chemical processing in the past um, years ago. Um, probably like five years ago I did get a keratin treatment and then I went through the transition and I'm back natural again but I had some chemical processing sometimes I heat style my hair and I notice I lose moisture fast like I'll put moisture in my hair but then moisture gets out really fast so that led me to believe that I was high porosity now I actually want to test it out and see if it's true am I high porosity and maybe I'll change up routines things that I like to put in my hair and stuff so without further ado if you guys want to see me find out make sure you are subscribed to my channel give my video a thumbs up and let's get into it so basically what the test is called um, I forgot the name so let me look at it again exactly what it's called um, it's called the float test so I do have my cup of water right here and I'm just taking a strand of hair from my comb I did do my hair today so I'm just gonna take a few strands and this will determine my hair porosity and basically what it says is take a couple strands of hair from your comb or brush and drop them into a bowl of water let them sit for two to four minutes if your hair floats you have low porosity if it sinks you have high porosity I'm betting on high porosity so here's my water here's my strands of hair you probably can't even see it and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop those in there and like they said you have to wait two to four minutes so I'm going to do exactly four minutes so I'm going ahead and I'm gonna set my timer for four minutes and I'm just gonna set that off to the side now if you have low porosity basically um, your hair with low porosity has a tightly bound cuticle layer with overlapping scales that lay flat this type of hair is usually considered healthy and is often very shiny especially when it's dark in color low porosity hair repels moisture when you try to wet it and it's hard to process since it's resist penetration of chemicals low porosity hair is also prone to build up from protein rich deep conditioning products which can leave it feeling stiff and straw like Stick to protein free daily conditioners and my hair can handle a ton of protein so that's another reason I'm like I can't be low porosity um, use moderate heat low porosity hair requires moisturizers rich in emollients such as shea butter jojoba oil coconut oil and mineral oil it also benefits from humect humectant pro products humectant products which attract and hold moisture to your hair Choose lighter liquid based products such as hair milks that won't sit on your hair and leave it oily or greasy. And my hair doesn't like hair milks either. So that's why my hair already shows a lot of signs that it's high porosity. But I wanted to finally just do this test and see because like I said, I don't know. And there's even hair that is medium porosity so that often requires the least amount of maintenance. The cuticle layer is looser allowing just the right amount of moisture to enter while preventing too much from escaping. Hair with normal porosity tends to hold styles well and can be permed and colored with predictable results. Over time, however, these processes can damage your hair and increase its porosity. I feel like at one point before, I feel like I had medium porosity though. Before I ever like keratin treated it. I feel like when I did get a keratin treatment and my hair transitioned back to natural and everything, I feel like my hair porosity changed. And then high porosity, um, like I said, can be either an inherent property of hair or the result of damage from chemical processing, rough treatment, or environmental damage. Hair price, sorry guys, high porosity hair has gaps and holes in the cuticle, which lets too much moisture into your hair and leaves it prone to frizz and tangling in humid weather. Even simple acts such as bathing, swimming, and shampooing can create more damage and breakage due to the sheer amount of moisture highly porous hair can absorb. Um, be sure to use anti-humectants in climates with high heat and humidity. This will help seal your damaged cuticles and prevent them from absorbing excess moisture in the hair. Because high porous hair can also lose moisture easily, it's important to use leave-in conditioners, moistures, and sealers. And that's a lot of the stuff that I actually already use for my hair. And layering these products will help your hair hold on to moisture. And I definitely have to always layer because of how fast my hair loses moisture. 
You can even follow up with a heavy hair butter and fill the gaps in your damaged cuticles and further protect your hair from losing too much moisture. So that's on that and the source of that was naturallycurly.com and we currently only have 50 more seconds until we find out my hair porosity. So comment down below your hair porosity I would love to know and also let me know you guys um, if you've ever done the float test I know there was another um, test that you can do to determine your hair porosity. Um, also, have you guys ever tried out Shea Moisture's line of products? They had a low porosity line and a high porosity line. I actually tried their high porosity deep conditioner before. So, like, I, already in my mind, I was like, high porosity. So, I've tried that out before, and it was a pretty good deep conditioner. But do you guys use hair products that are targeted towards your porosity, or do you still pretty much just use whatever on your hair? Comment down below. I want to know your thoughts, and we are time. Oh, whoa. What? It's like, it's floating. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. I didn't look over at it once too, just so I can. But what? Where is the, um, I feel like this needs to sit longer. If your hair floats, you have low porosity. If it sinks, you have high porosity. It didn't sink. Why is it floating? not have low porosity get out of here this is interesting okay what but my hair likes high porosity stuff my hair can handle protein everything this is what this is not making sense this, I'm about to put more hair in this in a minute this is not making sense why didn't it sing my whole life's a lie. I should have been did this test to know that I'm low porosity and I'm not high porosity and what? We gonna let that sit another four minutes and I'll come back to y'all because I'm in disbelief. Like what? All right, y'all. Here's the gag. <laughs> here's the glass of water and there's one teeny strand that's at the bottom some of the hair is like falling in the middle a bit and then there's still hair floating at the top so i looked at another source and it says if the strand immediately sinks to the bottom then your hair is of high porosity since my hair didn't immediately sink that means my hair cannot be high porosity but it says if it floats somewhere in the middle with ease then it's normal porosity my hair isn't really in the middle. It's still kind of floating at the top, honestly. And it says if it seems to stay at the top, taking forever to sink downward, then your strands are low porosity. So my hair is low porosity. And I didn't know. This whole time I'm thinking it's high porosity and it's low. So that's very interesting. And I'm glad I finally took the test and found out what my hair porosity is. So like I said, comment down below. Let me know if you know your hair porosity. Let me know how you found out or went about knowing what your hair porosity is. Because clearly, I guess I was wrong. And comment down below if you're going to try out this test to find out what your hair porosity is. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Because now I have to rethink my life. And remember, hey, I'm low porosity. <laughs> Bye, guys.